Hey, hello everyone. We have today a geometry exercise. What is the area of this geometry shape? The geometry shape filled in green color. Our task is to find the area of this geometric shape. And we review today two methods. The first method is just using the school geometry without integration. So this is the most challenging one. And the second method is method using the integration. Okay, you can now pause the video and practice a little bit to find this area. And we start with the first method. Let us define the length of the square as 2r. Then r is the radius of this inscribed circle. And s is the area of the green shape. The key thing in solution of this task is to find this triangle. All the sides of this triangle are given. As a first step we will find the area of this triangle, s1. We use the Heron formula for this. p is the half perimeter. And abc are the sides of this triangle. Therefore, the square of this triangle is equal to r square square root 7 divided by 4. Ok, as a next step, we will find the following angles. We use cosine theorem for this purpose. Now we can find the area of this section. Let's call it S2. This section is the part of the big circle with radius 2r. We found already angle alpha 3. Therefore, we can use this angle to find S2 area. And as a third step, we will find the area of this following sector. Let us call it S3. This is the part of the small circle. We use alpha 2 angle to find this area. Ok, now with this 3 piece of puzzle we can now find the S area. The half of the S is equal to S3 area. And we need to take S2 minus S1 and subtract it from S3. And then we have our S area. Now we can substitute S1, S2 and S3 to the equation of the S area. So we get the following formula and then the angles alpha 2 and alpha 3. And now we get the final formula for the S area. Looks a bit complicated, but we can now use some trigonometrical formulas and simplify it to the following equation. So this is the answer to our problem. Let us now put some number in it. If r is equal 100, let's say millimeter, we can now write this formula in Excel and calculate that the S area is equal to 5855.25 mm square. Ok, we move now to the second method. We use the integrals to find this area. We turn our geometrical shape on 45 degree, then we take the quarter of it, and then we define the coordinate system. We define the cross point between the circles and coordinate system. And we define the functions for the outer and inner curve. This will be two parts of the circles. One circle with the radius r and second circle with the radius 2r. We find now the cross point of these two functions by solving this equation. And now we can write the formula for our surface area. This is a following integral. We can solve this integral if we, for example, replace x by cosine t. And then we get the following answer. But it looks differently than the solution by the first method. Let us now compare these two solutions. So this is the solution by the integration method. And this is the solution using the school geometry method. We can now spend some time and using trigonometric formulas compare these two results. But it was easier just use the Excel and calculate the result from each of these formula individually. So Excel gives the same answer. In the end, we can prove the result by making the sketch, for example, in the free cut software and then measure the area using the available tool. So the answer is exactly the same as we calculated using two methods. Solving such a geometrical tasks is a very good practice for engineers as well. So time to time, we will do such an exercises. And this is all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.